Welcome Cryptopians to Total Crypto Updates, bringing you another video for real deep dives into the crypto industry. I can't promise to only speak about crypto, but I can promise everything will be overstood. Let's dive into today's very dense crypto update. Let's begin with an article posted on Cointelegraph stating, After submitting a trademark application for the term, Curriverse, on October 26, Steph Curry appears to be getting ready to present his own version of the metaverse to the 650 million followers who follow the National Basketball Association. The trademark application that was submitted by SC30 Inc. in the United States of America will provide the four-time NBA champion exclusive rights for entertainment services, specifically personal and virtual and metaversal appearances in the event that the application is accepted. According to the filing, the Curriverse would also offer online gaming services in the manner of virtual worlds, in which users will have the opportunity to earn both fungible and non-fungible tokens, NFTs, which will be able to be purchased or sold on an online marketplace. The application also covers virtual clothing and goods, business management and investment services, charitable fundraising services, and software as a service, SaaS, featuring software platforms for designing promoting, selling and exchanging non-fungible tokens, among other uses for the software. In another article posted on Cointelegraph.com states, Coinbase, a cryptocurrency exchange based in the United States, is the most recent entity to throw its support behind Ripple Labs in the company's ongoing legal dispute with the Securities and Exchange Commission, SEC, which has the potential to be resolved as early as the first half of 2023. Paul Gurwal, chief legal officer of Coinbase, said in a series of tweets on October 31st that the exchange had asked the presiding judge for permission to file an amicus brief, describing the case as a textbook example of just how critical fair notice is. Gurwal said the case was a textbook definition of just how critical fair notice is. Earlier today, at Coinbase asked Judge Torres for permission to file an amicus brief in the SEC case over XRP. Our point in pretty simple, this is a textbook case of just how critical fair notice is any reasonable notice of due process under law. A legal document known as an amicus brief, also known as a friend of the court brief, is a document that contains advice or information related to a court case from an organization or individual that is not directly involved in the case. An amicus brief can be filed by anyone who is not directly involved in the case. Gurwal went on to say that one of the most important safeguards provided by the United States Constitution is that the government cannot condemn conduct as a violation of law without providing fair notice that the conduct is prohibited. If the request is successful, Coinbase will join the ranks of Investor Choice Advocates Network, a non-profit organization, and spend the bits a cryptocurrency mobile app, both of which were granted permission to file amicus briefs in October. The motion was also submitted on the same day as the filing, which was the same day that cryptocurrency attorney John Deaton filed a motion seeking permission to submit an amicus brief on behalf of the decentralized community, representing XRP. It also comes just days after a cryptocurrency advocacy group called the Blockchain Association, also announced its support for Ripple on October 28. The Blockchain Association did so by announcing that it had filed its own amicus brief, in which it stated that the views of SEC Chairman Gary Gensler on securities laws could have devastating effects on the industry. In a recent article posted by BeingCrypto.com reads, Lucas Score, co-founder of SAFE, told Being Crypto that social recovery is one method that may be used to overcome the problem of inheritance with cryptocurrency wallets. There are solutions that can provide options to designate a trusted family member or friends who can recover a wallet in the event that the owner passes away, the article says. There are solutions that can provide alternatives to recover a wallet. Safe, formerly known as Gnosis Safe, is a multi-signature wallet on Ethereum that focuses on crypto custody. SAFE was once known as Gnosis SAFE. The manner in which users handle their crypto assets can be fully customized, 
and users have the option of using numerous devices to confirm transactions. There are a few more organizations than CASA's Covenant that already provide services that are analogous to this. Private keys could be dispersed among multiple heirs using multi-signature wallets to reduce the likelihood of their being lost by accident or stolen by unauthorized parties. A transaction cannot be confirmed by a single person acting alone. In the long run we even foresee institutions like banks, insurance, and notaries take on this role of recovering access to crypto wallets, Lucas Score, the SAFE co-founder, told Being Crypto. Continuing, Score said, Social and institutional recovery is possible through a new type of crypto wallet called smart contract wallets. There is an ecosystem-wide initiative underway called Account Abstraction. It establishes these smart contract wallets like SAFE or Argent as the standard way to hold and transact with crypto assets. Moving on to a Twitter feud between John Snowden and Craig Wright, aka the man who claimed he was Satoshi. Snowden started by posting a copy of the Bitcoin white paper on Twitter, which was celebrating its 14th birthday at the time. Snowden also mentioned that after all of this time, its author has chosen to remain nameless, which is something he considers amazing. A few minutes later, Craig Wright provided a response to this message by asserting that he was never anonymous, while also referring to Edward Snowden as traitorous filth. After roughly an hour had passed, Snowden responded by bragging on Twitter about Wright's defeat in court, at the hands of the prominent Bitcoiner Hodlinaut. Following the conclusion of the case earlier this month, it was determined that Hodlinaut's labeling of Wright as a scammer and fraud did not constitute defamation. This was due to the fact that Hodlinaut had sufficient factual reasons to make these assertions. Next Wu Blockchain tweets about another interest hike coming soon. Over the past several months, it has become the standard for interest rates to be increased, and in most cases, these rate increases have been bigger than was anticipated. This time around, Wu Blockchain has forecasted that there would be a 75 BPS increase in the interest rate, and there is an 81% chance that this will take place. If everything go according to plan, then the Federal Reserve will raise interest rates by a total of 375 basis points over the course of four consecutive rate hikes. This may have a negative impact on crypto assets, such as Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. Wu Blockchain tweeted on Sunday, October 30, 2022 that, on November 2 next week, the United States will announce the Fed interest rate decision, and the probability of raising interest rates by 75 BPS is currently 81%. The US unemployment rate for October will be released on November 4. When the Federal Reserve Board raised interest rates for the last time in September, the price of Bitcoin responded with a significant decrease. As a matter of fact, it would turn out to be the most volatile reaction to the FONC meeting given that the price of BTC had plunged by more than 5 percentage points in just one minute. This followed a string of three consecutive increases in the interest rate. Blockworks posted an article on Atom 2.0, and the on-chain voting going live. The vote for the proposal known as Atom 2.0 can now be cast on the blockchain. The voting period for the Cosmos proposal is open for two weeks to community members. Quorum has been set at 40%, which is significantly lower than the standard pass rate of 50%. At the time of publication, voter turnout was approximately 7%, and the proposal was approved by more than 90% of voters. Atom 2.0 is a new vision piece that focuses on inter-blockchain communication, IBC, interchain security, and liquid staking. It is a counterpart to the original Cosmos white paper that was published in 2017 and was released in the same year. According to the people who wrote the proposal, this marks the shift to the next phase of the Cosmos Hub as an infrastructure platform. Citation needed. The white paper was presented for the first time in late September during Cosmoverse, which is the annual conference for the network. Since then, 
it has been revised twice to meet the concerns of the community. Moving on to Tether and its investigation being taken over by the New York Justice Department. This article was posted on the dailyhodel.com. An investigation that has been going on for a year into the leading stablecoin issuer Tether is being taken up by the New York Department of Justice. Last year, federal prosecutors in Washington issued a warning to key executives at Tether that they could be charged with crimes linked to their banking procedures and activities related to USDT. The warning was issued because the federal prosecutors believe that the executives committed the crimes. Because of the uncertain legal environment surrounding digital assets and cryptocurrencies, the investigation has been handed over to U.S. Attorney Damian Williams in the Manhattan District. Robert Park, who served as an investigator for the Justice Department's Fraud Division in the past, explains why authorities would find it advantageous to route crypto cases through different offices. Transferring cases doesn't happen often and there's going to be pretty individual, unique circumstances each time. Tether has not released a statement regarding the reorganization of the investigative offices. A spokesman for Tether stated that the stablecoin issuer has always been transparent with the relevant authorities in response to the probe reports that were published the year before. Tether routinely has open dialogue with law enforcement agencies, including the U.S. Department of Justice, as part of our commitment to cooperation, transparency and accountability. We are proud of our role as industry leaders in promoting cooperation between industry and government authorities in the U.S. and around the world. According to the most recent cash flow data published by CoinShares, XRP and Bitcoin are the only assets whose crypto products had positive flows throughout the reporting period. Investment products with a focus on Bitcoin received $13.4 million, while XRP received $500,000 in funding. The performance of investment products that were centered on other cryptocurrencies was either extremely poor or documented enormous outflows. The market for investment products focused on cryptocurrencies closed out the week with a net increase of $6.1 million after receiving new money. In the similar way, the price motion of both XRP and Bitcoin has been lackluster, despite the fact that there has been activity on the goods that are being focused on. It is true that both cryptocurrencies traded in the green, but the gains were only between 2.5% and 5%, which is not a significant amount taking into account the performance of a number of coins toward the conclusion of the previous week. XRP, for its part, continues to accumulate around the upper end of the price range where the token arrived in the beginning of May. This occurred back when the month of May 1st began. It is unlikely that the price action of XRP would be very different from that of other cryptocurrencies if the resolution of the ongoing legal struggle between Ripple and the SEC was not so close at hand. The only thing that will reveal the exit from this accumulation is the verdict after the trial. In keeping with the pattern that has emerged often over the past few weeks, BTC drew Bart Simpson's signature hedu. There is no reason to anticipate a price increase in Bitcoin so long as the S&P 500 is trading at a level lower than $3,900. The fact that the monthly candlestick has now come to an end today also adds to the pressure that is being placed on the price. A link to CoinShares research analysis will be in the description. That will conclude today's update on trending news in the crypto world. Thank you for watching if you made it all the way through. Stay tuned we are an active administration. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Never be afraid to voice your opinion. Tell us in the comments what you think, and give us some suggestions on what kind of content you'd like us to deep dive into. Until next time, good day, good night, and goodbye.